All right, so we are about to jump into day 24 of the first spring. Quick review of what I have to do. Water the crops. There's, there's at least one more rail I gotta grab on the farm. I'm gonna take a jam to the community center. Do some mining and I gotta hit the flower dance, I believe before 2 p.m. Let me just confirm when the flower dance starts. You set up Stardew without triggering all the main menu Easter eggs every time. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I do the uh, thing, and then I, I always forget about the alien one. I always forget about the alien Easter egg. All right, quick check of the luck. Oh, and make sure we do Queen of Sauce as well. You already know how to make it. Excellent. Weather for tomorrow is rain. Okay, good. Fortune teller. Worst luck. Yay. All right, so, uh, do I have, so that's for the museum. I have a small magnet ring I'm gonna sell. Let's throw another piece of trash in the recycler. Another thing I'm gonna have to do at some point is purchase some, uh, I think I have it written down here somewhere, parsnips for this transition to summer. I want to make sure I get the uh, parsnips planted uh, before summer so that when summer hits I don't have to hoe or, well, hoe basically. At least that'll save me a bit of time planting whatever I'm going to plant in summer. Um, so, okay, that's on the go. Let me grab, I must have something to throw into the, ah, I do, I can make a strawberry jam maybe. Let's grab a strawberry. Okay, so that jams for the community center. That is for Gunther. We're gonna smelt the quartz. Uh, oh, animation canceling. Hold on. Uh, that one there. Thank you. All right. Oh, we got one K already. side. I should probably plant something there. Do I have any mixed seeds or anything? No. No, I don't. Okay, no, note to self. Gotta plant something there. And the good news is I have a good amount of money now. Well, sort of, because I still need to get the, uh, the bust of the desert unlocked. Which is going to be a bit of a problem. I don't know where I'm going to get the money to do that, because I didn't really have a very good first week or two of spring. Did I water that spot? Let's water it again just to be safe. Hoping I get lots of good forageables from the spring seeds that I planted. I'm going to water that as well, because... I want to make sure I have a good number of spots hoed and watered for uh, oh, I missed a cauliflower there. I want to make sure I have a good number of spots um, hoed and watered for something like going into summer. Okay, so we're going to leave the torches here, I think. Uh, the kale I'm going to put in a preserve jar. I'm pretty sure I've shipped to Kale already. Um, oh, have I not shipped to Kale? Oh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay. I've shipped 34 of them. Sweet. Uh, okay, so the Kale can go there. Parsnip can go there as well. Um, a quick check of my notes. Water the crops. Oh, go foraging. And then we'll swing by the community center on the way to the mine. Um, so I'm going to leave, I think I'm going to leave that there. Uh, where on my farm is this morale that I saw last time? It is... Oh, this one. So there's one right there by the dog. And we've got two dandelions. And we've got... 
two horseradishes. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, actually, no. 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 No, because I have to. I still have to go to the flower dance. Like, I have to go to the flower dance. What up, dog? Um, so I may as well just wait until I go to the flower dance. Or how many morels do I have? I've got three. I need one more morel. Oof. Hopefully I get one. I'm pretty sure I need four. Or do I need four? How many? Oh my goodness. Ah! Okay, when I hit Alt-Tab, go to that one. There we go. How many morel do I need? I need four. Okay. Unfortunate. All right, so yeah, let's swing by the community center. Probably not a great use of time, but I don't want to screw up. I'm worried that if I don't put stuff in the community center as like, even though it's like, you know, an extra trip and whatever, um, I'm scared that if I don't do it, then I'll see be like, oh, GM, I should sell that, and then I'll screw up. Flower Dance has started, okay. So I just need to make sure that I leave the mine with enough time to get to the flower dance, or that's a reset. <laughs> that is, uh, that is going to be a reset if I screw that up. Uh, artisan, yes, there we go, lovely. All right, to the mines. How's my farming doing, by the way? Have I hit level five farming yet? No, still level four. I need to be level six so I can get kegs. Hmm. So I think the plan today is to mine for copper, I think. I think that's what I had written on my notes. Also looking for artifact spots. I'm not seeing anything. I'm not gonna be coming back this way today, so whatever I'm doing, it's gotta be it's gotta be now. What up, Linus? Oh, there's bubbles over there too. I really want those. But we gotta do some mining. Hopefully I have some food here. Ah, there we go. Oh, I have a coal. Uh, so, ooh, look at all the gold. Gold! Actually, let's do some iron. Alright, so give me an sword. Probably should not have brought the hoe with me. That's alright. Um, you know, I'm just gonna leave stuff in here. So we'll smelt some iron. Take the bomb. I love gold. So why is it, do you reckon? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Like there should be like food. Okay, I'll take the cookie. And the green algae. And the dandelions. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So let's grab uh let's grab some iron. After I put this in the uh why do I not have any cock? That's how they call it home. That was a cock up. All right, no problem. Oops. Actually, maybe if I get enough bug meat, I can make myself some bug steak. Keep an eye out for the bug meat as well. Basically, I need copper for tappers, for um, uh, kegs eventually. Like, I need a lot of copper. The other question is, when do I leave for the... Uh, when do I leave for the flower festival? That is going to be the question, I think. It's already noon, I gotta be there by two, and I gotta stop by the house on the way, and I gotta do some foraging as well. So, I mean, definitely no later than one for sure, for sure. Over here. And actually, you know what, maybe I shouldn't eat anything, maybe I should just keep save my energy for... 
Okay, I, I should get going. I don't want to cut it too close. I'll just put in... Well, I've got two coal. Let's put two... Smelt two bars of copper. Alright, so I'm going to leave the bug meat here to make bug steak. I'm going to take the bone fragments with me. I'm going to take the daffodil with me. Fiberglass rod. Leave the stone. Leave the bomb. Leave those for food. Leave the ore. Leave, um... More stone. Take the geodes. That's pretty, that's pretty good. All right, let's head back to the house. Okay, so that's pickles. I don't think I need that for anything, do I? Pickles, pickles. Um, artisan bundle. And that's it. Okay, so I can sell that, I'm pretty sure. Let me make sure I have all the daffodils I need. What time is it now? 1.10 p.m. Oof. Actually, no, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. I have all the daffodils I need, so I can sell the daffodils. Southwestern stereotype old guy. Go! Um, do I want to sell anything else? I kind of don't. Have I shipped a bone fragment? Do I need to ship a bone fragment? I have already, okay. Let me grab something else to throw in that thing. Let's let's do some more uh, strawberry jelly. All right, so you can go there. I'm gonna hang on to the sap for now, I think. All right, let's, I don't need to clear my inventory either. What I should just do, especially with the time, is let's just go. Although while I'm here, let me throw in. <laughs> I need to hurry and go right now. Although while I'm here, let me just do this. All right, so we're just gonna make my way over here. Hopefully, ooh, 20 minutes. Oh dear, oh dear. You know what, I need to just go. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. And I got stuck. Crap. All right, let's try it again. Whoops. Okay, so you know what? Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take the coal with me. Um, I'm not going to stop by the community center. I'm just going to go straight to them. I will water my crops. Um, oh, that really sucks. The thing is, I, I have to go to the... Uh, I have to go to the flower festival because I need a rare crow and I need... Something else. Recipe for the tub of flowers. So like, I mean, I, I, I mean, I could, I don't want, I could, I could have waited till year two, but I'm trying to avoid doing that, if at all possible. I'm trying to make sure that I get as much done in year one as possible, so that year two is just make money, fr finish up friendship, like whatever. Whoops. That's okay. We'll get through it. So, obviously leaving at noon did not give me enough time to mess around on the farm. If, I, I mean, if I'd gone straight to the flower festival, I probably would have been fine. But I got a little bit cocky. It's like, oh, let me go grab these forgeables real quick. The forgeables can wait. It's Wednesday. They should, in theory, be there tomorrow. In theory. All right. So let's leave the watering can behind. Flower festival. Um, leave the torches. I'm gonna leave the fishing rod. Does it matter? 
I don't need a lot of inventory for when I get to the flower festival, so maybe I just won't worry about it. So let's take all that. I can leave the scythe. I'll leave the chewing stick behind. Take the fire quartz with me. I'll leave the parsnip. Parsnip stays. Chewing stick goes there. Everything else can come with me. Oh, except I will put one more thing. All right. Keeping that for the community center, which would normally go in here, but here's kind of full. So let's do that. And I'll just hang on. I'll just keep the chewing stick on me for, for now. It'll only be for a day. I will grab this morel. I really need to clear my farm. I really just need to clear the farm. That's what I need to do. Ooh, a leak. I really, I, I want to like sell the leaks or use them for food, but I should really keep them for gifting for George. Because George is kind of, I mean, eventually, my hope for gifting for the most part is to um, basically just use fruit. Most people, if you give them a tree fruit, they all like it. So my hope is that, uh, I can just give people tree fruits non-stop. <laughs> Farm cluttered. Yeah, I'm, I'm bad about that. I need to just get, get in there and clean everything out. All right, should I leave any of the stuff here? I'm kind of scared to. I'll take the bug meat with me and maybe the green algae for food. All right, <laughs> good. <laughs> Not likely, but yeah, kind of need to... Ooh, a ruby. That was fortuitous. So have I given a ruby to Gunther? Yes, I have. Okay. Hey, what's up, Blackberry Jam? How you doing? Alright, the flower down. Ooh, bug me time. Hope there are lots of these flying dudes. Ooh, uh... Oh my goodness. Aha, how about you? There we go. Eager to hear some more of your tunes? I've been working on it. According to the blister I have on my index finger of my left hand right now, I have been working on some music off stream. I was recording a bass track. <laughs> my wussy piano fingers can't handle uh, playing a lot of bass anymore. I gotta get my calluses back. But, uh, but yeah. Well, okay, so I think I should probably... Ooh, I should have got that copper there. Oh, well, let's grab some bug meat. Now I'll get back here. So when should, I, when should I leave this time? It's 10.30. I mean, I was close. But I wouldn't mind forging the farm, so maybe I'll leave at, like, 11. Maybe I'll just grab this copper, then I'll go. I'm pretty low on energy now, anyways, so now's probably going to be a good time. A couple more pieces of copper, excellent. All right, uh, let me throw some copper into the furnaces. Oops. Look at that, just enough to smelt three things. So we'll leave the gold, leave the green algae, we'll leave the, I'm gonna take the white algae with me, I need some more white algae. We'll leave the bug meat, I'm gonna leave the small magnet ring, leave the sword, um, leave the stone, leave the fire quartz. And that should be good. And then let's just smelt these three things. And let's go. Bust up. All right. So this time, this time we better make it to the flower festival. Goodness. I'm gonna leave everything that's up here. I mean, except for the recycler, because the recycler is really convenient. So. Uh, I'll keep the watering can on me as well, and maybe the side, because I'm going to need those for the next day. Might clear. Although it's going to be raining the next day, so I'm not going to need to water. So I wonder, depending on the luck, if I should... Oh, I should fish! Yeah, I should just fish tomorrow. Fish, try and get some more money to... and get my fishing level up, but try and get some more money to uh, get the bus unlocked. I should just do that. Alright. 
11.20. I must have enough time now. Surely. Surely I must have enough time to do these, to grab these forgeables. Oh, look at that. What was I worried about? <laughs> Whoops. All right. It's a little early. Feels like a bit of a waste of the day, but it's okay. Oh, Rusty Spur. Oh, nice. New artifact. Okay. Got the axe with me as well, so maybe I'll... Uh... I can clear a little bit of this area, although my energy is pretty low, though. In fact, my <laughs> I'm down to 14, so... um. Yeah, we're probably going to call that good, I think. I don't want to eat anything. I don't want, I'd rather not eat. All right, Flower Festival. Unfortunately, I don't have... I don't even have four hearts with Evelyn, so I'm not dancing with anybody. I don't even know if Evelyn's here. Is she, is she even here? I don't know. The other thing is, I don't know if it's worth talking with everybody. Because I have zero hearts with pretty much everybody. I mean, maybe Robin and Clint I could talk to. But if I have zero hearts with people, there's no point. So we'll talk with Clint. And we'll talk with Robin. This is Robin here. Uh, we'll talk with uh, George and Evelyn. It's too bright out here. Um, and we'll talk with Jody as well, I guess. Where do I think I saw Jody down? Where's jo oh, this is Jody. Am I going to be dancing? Nope. All right, here we go. Tub of flowers recipe. And rare crow. Nice. Oh, that's super important. So I need to keep track of my rare crows as well, actually. Uh, where can I keep track of those? Let's put them, like, here. Rare crows. Five. We've got the fifth rare crow. I need to get all eight so that I can get the recipe for the deluxe rare, deluxe rare crow or deluxe scarecrow. Because you have to craft a deluxe scarecrow. Uh, there's nothing else I want to buy here, is there? Mm. Oh, I could buy 10 dandelions or 10 daffodils for 50 gold. Huh. Because that would be kind of good for energy, to be honest. He who smelt it dealt. Um. Just put water everywhere. Um. Yeah, I'm think I might actually buy that. 50 gold? For 10 dandelions? Oops, sorry, I hit the microphone there. I might do that. Oh, no, it's 50 per. And he has 10. Okay, that's not worth it, never mind. Uh, okay, is there anything else I want to do here? I don't think so, I'm not dancing. I'm not going to bother talking with people because until I'm gifting them, I'm not going to... Until I'm gifting people, it's not worth I have zero hearts, what am I worried about? Talk with everybody that I have hearts with. Um, everything else I don't care about. And I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure I've met all the villagers, right? There's nobody I haven't met. Yeah, okay, we're good. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh. I can't leave, though. I have to... Do I have to start the dance? Or can, can, I, can I leave? I don't know. Can I leave... I mean, obviously I can't go up or down here, but can I, if I like walk out to the edge, will it be like, do you want to leave? Nope. Okay. I guess I have to start the dance. I guess that's the only way to, to leave the flower dance. Who knew? Just out of curiosity, I want to take a screenshot of this. And see what it looks like in, uh... Oh, I see. Okay, so it takes... So when you have this flower dance map... It takes a corner of Cinder Sap and then just fills it. So this is actually a totally separate map. And interestingly, the wizard is right up there. The wizard's like uh, creeping on people. Whoops. So I guess like the wizard comes down this path here and then just goes there and just is creepy. Scarecrow makes you Scarecrow makes you feel uneasy. Can you even see the wizard from, uh, 
Like, if I go all the way up to the corner, can I see the wizard, or is it totally hidden? Oh yeah, you can catch a glimpse of him there. Alright, should we start the dance? Let's start. So I can go home and f finish crop planting my crops and stuff. Cutscene. You have to have four hearts to be able to dance with somebody, so at some point, or next year, I will do that. Could you get a heart with people, some, whoever you dance with? That's just kind of nice. So, but I mean, hopefully by next year, will I have married Maru already? I don't know. I'm not sure. I, I'm thinking it's going to be Maru. I'm not thinking, I'm thinking it's going to be Maru for this run. I need the convenience of the diamonds. Love the waltz tune. All right, so another piece of trash. What else do we have going on here? So I'm gonna fish tomorrow. Maybe I could, well, once I get to 25,000, I'll buy the I'll buy the crystallarium for the community center. So I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Uh, so let's put that behind, leave that. We'll leave the leek. Should I leave the horseradishes? Kind of tempted to. Any other chest, actually. So I want to hang on to this ruby. Do I want to hang on to the ruby? I might just sell the ruby. Yeah, I might just sell it. Uh, I think I will just to clear out this, like, clear this out a little bit. I think I will swing by the community center. Oh, well, although hmm, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here. But let's put some more strawberry jam in. Uh, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna sell the ruby. Yeah, we're gonna sell that. So I've got some stuff for Gunther. Need to keep this morel. That should be three morel. I need one more. Keep another white algae. I need, uh, how many white algae do I need? Um, nothing. For crafting, for cooking, I need... Oh, I need two! Is that all I need white algae for? That'd be sweet if I'm done that. What do we have? Not for a bundle, one, two for pale broth. And that's it! Sweet! So I have all the white algae I need. I'm gonna mark that, I'm gonna mark that off. I'm gonna mark this in green. There we go. Nice! Okay, so we have all the algae we need. Um, keep the dandelions on me to eat. Let's get rid of, so I'm, if I'm going fishing, I'm not going to need to water. I'm not going to need a pickaxe, not going to need a scythe. Take the salmon berries, take the dandelions, I'm going to leave the torches, I'll leave the coal, leave the wood. Maybe I'll just put this rare crow down somewhere, as long as I have it, it doesn't really matter. Put it like there or something. Totally unorganized, but whatever. Um, I think that's probably pretty good. I'll put that in there. Save that for the community center. And I think that's probably good. I've got 14 energy, so maybe what I'll do with my 14 energy is I will uh, cut some cut something. I don't think it matters. I think even if I run out of energy right now, I think it's fine. Because, whoops. Um, I think it's fine because, I mean, I'm going to bed right away, so I should get all my energy back. It'll just make getting to bed slow. Down to six. Five. Three. All right. Down to two energy. I think I'll just uh, call that one good. Grab another piece of trash. Yeah, you can stay behind. Put the wood in there. So that's for the museum. That's for the museum. I can go there. I think I'm probably good for tomorrow. Either well, either I need to make another chest, or I need to drop some stuff off at the community center, like or and Gunther and stuff. So I mean, I could keep that on me as well, but. I'm going to fish the river, so, I mean, 
I'll have to see. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. Either way, let's go to bed. Alright, so we made it that time. 500 gold, nice. Alright, day 25. I do have some notes for day 25. Uh, they include, but are not limited to... Uh, I was going to build a silo today. That's going to have to wait. That can wait until day 26. Day 25, we are just going to... Um, fish. I will pick up some parsnips as well. Buy parsnips. I can, I can plant the parsnips whenever. Um... Actually, say buy parsnips for summer transition. So I can plant those whenever at this point. And that's done. And when am I buying an apple tree? Oh, snap! So I want to make sure I'm getting f apples right the first day of fall. So I should probably buy an apple tree the next day. And I need to stop by that rather traveling cart. And get a red cabbage seed. Tomorrow's a big day. Tomorrow is a real big day. What's the luck today? Please be like awesome as luck. Oh, it's best luck! Let's go! Let's. And there's literally no other way to put this. Go. Alright, so. Let's quickly just harvest everything we gotta harvest. Nice. And we've got strawberries. Oh, nice. Couple more tulips. Lovely potato. Let's go. Chest is full. Um, <laughs> that's kind of unfortunate. So let's grab those two. Put the kale in there. I want to try and preserve jar stuff as much as possible. I need to keep the green bean for recipes, but this chest is also full. That's four green beans. I need one Oof. I really hope I get a green bean on the 28th or else uh, that's going to be a... Well, I guess I could do a greenhouse later in the year, but yeah, it's going to be a thing. Um, oh, so happy we got our first harvest of strawberries. That's awesome. So all I have, so I gotta find a place to put this cauliflower. Um, I don't know why this community center thing keeps like flashing like that. I don't know why it's why it's doing that. So I guess I'm just gonna have to put it stuff in here for now because I just don't want to have it on me. But uh, yeah. Okay, so let's go to the river at 6.30. Just making sure nothing else I'm forgetting. I don't think so. I mean, I think the whole plan was for me to fish today. Just going to check the farm screenshot. Check what we have for forageables. So if there's a morel, I need it. Uh, I don't see one down there. Don't see one up there. Don't see anything over there. This is behind a tree or something. Uh, um, I might just grab some screenshots. Because where do more elves spawn? Do they spawn everywhere, or do they only spawn in certain places? Uh, secret woods. <laughs> For half. So if it doesn't show up on the farm... Um, I'm one short. Why do I need four? I need one to ship, one for a bundle, two for recipes. Oof. Yeah, I do need four. Well, I mean, hopefully one spawns in the next couple days. Um, fingers crossed. But we can't worry about that right now. Let's... Uh, some clay. There's a dandelion there. Don't care. That can wait. Gotta focus on uh, Daffodil there, again. Although it's really close, though. 
I'll check some trash cans while I'm here as well. Oh, broken glasses, green algae, nice. What's up, Project Wolf? How goes tonight? Not too bad. It's not too bad tonight. Uh, just logged in and have the Oscars on one screen and you and Twitch on the other two. Nice. Appreciate it. What if I should have brought that stuff with me for the museum? I don't know. How are the Oscars, Arctic Wolf? Is it weird seeing, uh... Is it weird seeing an in-person event again? It must be a little bit strange seeing an in-person event in North America. I mean, different places in the world they're doing sporting events and concerts and whatnot, but I know in North America it's still not much of a thing. I'm... I am... I really am not into award ceremonies. Well, we don't have TV, like, we have, we have Netflix and, like, Prime Video, but we don't have normal cable TV channel TV. Oh, this is catfish. I need... I need this! Oh dear. Oh god, we're kind of lucky there. Just need to settle down. Just need to settle down a little bit. Okay, good. Make up some time. There we go. Oh, nice. There we go. Catfish! Need that. The more the merrier, quite frankly. This is why we're doing this. Try and get as many catfish as possible. <laughs> I'm not doing too well. Oh, nice, got it. Oops, wrong way. As many catfish as possible, make as much money as possible. If I'm lucky, I will at least get close to 25,000 today. And as soon as I hit 20... So here's the thing, as soon as I hit 25,000, I can unlock, I can get a Crystallarium at least and start getting some diamonds. Um, I did see the guests who received the Governor General's Award at the gala at the NAC National Arts Center where we sat in front of the podium, that was cool, nice. Um, yeah, I don't think I've been to an actual proper award show in real life before. Been to a lot of like random kind of formal events, but never an award show, I don't think. But uh, so here's the thing: if I get twenty-five thousand gold, I can unlock the. You know, I can get that bundle in the community center and whatever. But I still need an apple tree. And like really badly, and I need to have, that's four thousand. And I still need, I mean, in theory, I could potentially get some apples in the fruit cave, but having a tree will a give me a guarantee that I'm going to have apples, and b I can use them for gifts. So got some bait. Oh, nice. My one piece of bait on there. Oh, I guess I could have used some bug meat for bait. Don't know why I was thinking I should keep that for bug steak. Oh well. Um, <laughs> I used my last piece of bait fishing up some broken glasses. Sweet. Um, so I need 4,000 for an apple tree. Um, and I need money for crops. And I need to have that money for crops in four days. So... And I have to buy some parsnips before then, too. So I don't think... I'm... Hmm. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for money over the next four days. That's an issue. That is a problem. Don't know what I'm going to do for that. My girl did not know we were going to a gala. 
She thought we were going to see the guess who, and I went to pick her up. Are you? <laughs> but she's she's ready to go to a party and. Take her to a black tie event. Hmm. Yeah, what am I going to do for this? I don't know what I'm going to do for money. I mean, apparently I just don't get that $25,000 bundle. But I need to start, like, actually um, getting some money going here. She was wearing kind of effing boots up to her. <laughs> we settled for river dance boots. Yeah, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna how I'm gonna do this. What am I gonna do for money? Again, without having any kegs, unless I just make a bunch of freezer jars and just, just try and do it that way. I could do that. I can make you know a bunch more freezer jars, stick them in the house or something. And just try. I don't have that many crops though. That's the problem. Like I just don't. I didn't get my farming level high enough to get quality sprinklers. Wait, is level 6 quality sprinklers or is level 6 kegs? I should check. Um, farming. I was in bed with a dancer for 10 years, we were buddies. Oh, this way some, the way some celebrities dress for award shows during non-pandemic times. Okay, so... Keg is level 8, sprinkler's level 6, but the sprinkler means I can get my farming level up easily, because I could just... So yeah, I really need to focus on getting some getting materials for sprinklers, because that's what... Copper, iron, quartz? Gold, iron, and quartz. Oof. Hmm. I was hoping spring wasn't going to go this bad. Like, I, I mean, I knew it wasn't going to be, like, super speed run. 50 million in one year kind of numbers, but I was hoping it wasn't going to go this badly. I really feel like I'm super far behind right now. Oh well. Maybe maybe next time I do this challenge it'll, uh, it'll go a bit better. I still think we'll make it. I just think year two is going to be pretty hectic. So I'll try and catch what fish I can today. And then... Uh, See how it goes tomorrow, I guess. When the guess who performed at the Spring Festival, she wanted to go up on my shoulders and take her top off during American Woman, and that and that she did. <laughs> I mean, hey, how's that saying go? Bad decisions make good stories or something like that? Um, all right, so think, think, think. Really hope to get more catfish. Bert was busting his gut and Randy was hiding behind Bert. Oh, here we go. This one's getting kind of feisty. There we go. Nice. Because every gold star catfish is like 750 or something, or... I should launch my own stream? You totally should. You could just, you could just tell, you could just launch a just talking stream and just tell stories the whole day and it, like... People would love to hear that stuff. Could just talk about music industry stories and... Whatever, and like... Just share the history, talk t-shirts. Oh, got a treasure chest. I want that. Not even mad that it's not a great fish because I got the treasure chest. Hopefully something good. Hopefully it's the treasure chest. Bait. I'll take it. Oh, let me just dump some stuff off here. Alright. 
Well, at the Spring Festival, Bert said we recognized several people from the gala. That was awesome. <laughs> nice. Oh, easy. There we go. It's going pretty well, actually. I think I've got, what, is that my fourth catfish? Or I think it's my fourth. I'll take it. So I'm basically going to, like, do, well, do what I normally do when I fish, and that is fish till I run out of energy, and then just keep <laughs> keep enough energy to, to live. Um, and not much else. So I've got, you know, the four salmon berries. I've got five green algae. That'll be enough to give me a decent amount of energy. And, uh... What is that? That was super easy. Small enough, got it. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll make a good amount of money today. Then tomorrow we can buy the parsnips, buy the apple tree. This is definitely catfish. I feel like that's a level nine fishing bar. That looks like that looks level nine-ish to me. Yes, we have hit level nine. There was a senator at the gala around the door wearing a tux, and I asked if he was the doorman. <laughs> Oh dear. This one's a little feisty. Oh, things are going badly. Let's to try and gain a little bit of space on. There we go. Now I've got a little bit of leeway. Hopefully I can survive. I have to really focus on this. Sorry. There we go. Yes. I was wearing a Moore's herringbone gray sport jacket. I mean, to each their own. That's the thing. Like, for me, I've, I've never lived in a big town, so... I mean, relatively. Relatively big town. I've always lived in relatively small towns. Um, so, typically, if I go to a formal event, I'm one of the best... Be I was, I've always one of the best-dressed people there. Which isn't saying that I'm, like, an amazing dresser. That's more to say that, like, I'm going to events in small towns, so it's, you know... It's the event where a lot of the guys, for example, would be wearing their good pair of jeans with their cowboy, with their cowboy boots. Um, so yeah, for me to be wearing suits and things was in a lot of the places I've lived is pretty, pretty rare. I still have it. Nice. Actually, Diane and I were talking about this recently, too, where she saw a dress online that she really liked. And she was like, oh, should I get this dress or not get the dress? And then she's kind of like, well, we never do anything. We're, like, we're not going anywhere. We're not, like, what, what am I going to wear this dress to? Because we don't, we don't leave the house that much. So, yeah, hopefully one day again we'll be able to have excuses to dress up again. But not that I especially care that much. I'm quite happy in sweatpants, but... I have a Carlos Santana Fedora. I too get pimped up so these Russian girls or look like a gangster. Mm -hmm. Trying to think of the last thing I wore a suit for. Oh, I actually, you know what it was? No, it wasn't a full suit. The last thing I got moderately dressed up for was my dad's wedding. When my dad got remarried, but it was over Zoom, so I was just wearing. I was just dressed up from the waist up. I was wearing sweatpants from the waist down. Um, so wearing his pants on up top, it was like, you know, suit jacket, dress shirt, tie. Business up top, party on the bottom. Oh, cat. Oh, wow, that one's, that one's feisty. Ooh, easy. Oh, oh, no. It's trying to, like, tease it down there and didn't quite catch the... Ooh, it wasn't really efficient. There we go. Come on, catfish. Come on, catfish. Come on, catfish. I'm worried it's gonna jump. I'm worried it's gonna jump. There we go. Nice. How many catfish is that? Eight. 
Sweet. That, um, this is going well. <laughs> this is actually going really well today. It's gonna be, gonna be worth thousands. If nothing else, hopefully I'll make enough money today to pay for tomorrow. You know, to pay for the apple tree, to pay for the parsnips. I have to figure out how many parsnips I'm gonna get too, actually. I'm not sure. When relatively young people know how to dress properly. I find that it's very much a... Uh... Well, I, I don't know. I have no idea. I'm not a relatively young person, but... I mean, clearly there are young people who know how to dress properly. But I find, well, for me, the thing that I've seen lately is it's more along the lines of either people are fashion conscious, generally speaking, or they're not fashion, fashion conscious, generally speaking. And so if you're fashion conscious, you tend to be more... People I've seen anyways tend to be more into like higher fashion. So it's not just about wearing, you know, suits or, or you know, um, fancy black dresses or anything like that. It's more about like, you know, you're wearing higher fashion kind of thing. You're wearing stuff that like a fashion designer, stuff that you w would buy that was made by a fashion designer because you know who that fashion designer is and you like what they do kind of thing. Whereas for me, I'm, you know, wearing sweats most of the time. Or shorts if it's too hot to wear sweats. Um, I have a shirt. I have a shirt that no longer fits and is gray with burgundy stripes and a burgundy tie. I still have. People thought I worked for Taco Bell. <laughs> Today you can find fashion on Amazon for peanuts. I mean, it's true. Formal casual business. Uh oh. I'm really glad I hit level 9 fishing. Yike. There we go. Nice! The catfish game is real today. Gotta eat, though. This is good. It's 9 p.m. and I've caught a ton of catfish. This is awesome. I needed to have this kind of a day, you know, on like the third day of spring. That's what I get for having best luck. And a little bit of bait. Alright, what am I gonna eat? Let's eat the... Let's eat this. I'm just gonna try to eat them all. Um, hmm. I don't know if I should eat all of them. I probably could, so... Let's just eat them all. Whatever. I mean, honestly, with best luck today, like... I'm tempted just to pass out here fishing, but... I don't know that I want to lose a thousand gold, but... And I never, although I probably wouldn't catch more than a thousand fish, a thousand gold worth of fish if I stay late, so I probably shouldn't, but... Um, oh, my eyes watering. Glad it's not a catfish, it'd be hard to do with one eye. Alright. Uh, so yeah, I, sh I probably should make sure I get home. Am I going to be able to do perfect and the chest? No, not for nope. It's hoping to open the fish. Oh dear. Duh. There we go. It's hoping to do perfect and the chest, but the fish wasn't quite getting high up enough there. You know Gulf Florida shirts that were once and worn by staff for various bits and embroidered printed while people are Yep. When people are looking for the work, the suit market goes up. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I have my fair of those, uh, those polo shirts, let me tell you. I used to wear them to work all the time, so, like, um, instead of wearing, like, a dress shirt or whatever to work, I'll just wear a polo. Time's at 10 p.m. But it's best luck. I really want to try and milk this here. Um, I should probably leave here at maybe midnight. Give me time to get home, get stuff organized. Midnight there, thereabouts. I want to sell the fish today. So... Yeah, maybe midnight or so. Marco. <laughs> Marco shirt. Polo shirt. Um, yeah, I'll probably leave around midnight.
Yeah, that might be safest. It kind of sucks. I mean, it kind of sucks not going for the legend fish, but like I say, I don't want to spend the money on the fishing rod right now. Um, oh, another catfish. Come on, I can get this. Give it to me, baby. Nice. There we go. Marco Pollo. <laughs> Whoops. 11.20. What a great fishing day. Wow. I tell you, having a good luck day makes such a big difference. Yike. The news tonight discussed kids losing large on video games. <laughs> Buying players. Oh, like the microtransactions in games and stuff? Is that what we're talking about? Soccer? A billion dollar industry, they say? A billion dollars. Yeah, if we're talking about microtransactions, yes, I am, I am aware of... of EA's methods. All right, it's midnight. This is going to be my last fish for the day. What a fantastic fishing day, though. Hit, hit level 9, which is good. Um, can I just empty this out? Nice, I can take everything. Let's maybe catch... I mean, you know what? I'm going to get cocky. We're going to try and catch one more. Like loot cards or something? Loot. Yeah, you're thinking loot crates. Yeah. Yeah, well, there's a bunch of things. I mean, you got your microtransactions, which is basically... All right, I'm going to go. Um, you spend a little bit of money in game, you know, especially games that are like pay to pay to win kind of games. Um, and there are games out there that are actually free that try to draw people in with stuff like that. Eleven catfish! Wow, what a day! Um, oh my goodness, this is going to be worth change. So the daffodil. Um, I guess I've got some stuff on me. I can drop in there. Let's do that one first. We're gonna drop off the wood. So tomorrow, players who are destroying an egg. You know, hey, Dad, where's your credit card? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um. So there's that whole issue. There's uh. Cauliflower. Oh, I guess the cauliflower was going in the preserve jars. Um, what else do I need for tomorrow? I need the, I'll need another dwarf gadget, but I'm keeping that for the farm computer because dwarf gadgets are hard to come by. I'm going to grab another piece of trash to recycle. Oh my goodness, I'm so, I can't wait just to see how much money I made today. I really need another chest. Uh, let me, is there anything else I can throw in? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, what else do I want to deal with here? Oh, I guess I have an actual piece of trash on me, so we'll save that. We've got some clay. How much clay do I need? I think it's just 10 for the, for the silo, right? Which I should probably do, actually. Oh, no, I need, uh, 10, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19 clay in total. And I will... Yeah, I just need 19. So, let's put the clay in there. Worst, I guess, is, Dad, can you pay my card? Bad news. So, so tomorrow what I'm going to do in-game is I'm going to drop the stuff off at the museum. Drop those two off. Drop this off at the community center. We'll go see Pierre. We're going to buy some parsnips. We're, what else are we going to do? Uh, we're going to build a silo. We're going to... Oh, parsnips and an apple tree. Uh, we will... Actually, here's what we're going to do. First thing we're going to do is build a silo. Because I can take the mine up, to, mine card up to... Or should I just walk to Robbins? I can just walk to Robbins. Oh, I need to hit the traveling cart too, though. Must hit the traveling cart. We're going to do the traveling cart first. Then from the traveling cart, we're going to... Go to... to town. We'll go to the museum. We'll go, we'll go to see Pierre. So we'll buy an apple tree... And some parsnips, and then we're gonna stop by the museum, 
and then from the museum we'll go up to Robin and we'll build a silo and then from there maybe we'll come down and uh, hit the community center with the with the jelly and that should be it now here's a question do I take some geodes I think I kind of do I think I do some geodes at Clint's I think I do I should also think about upgrading to a to a gold pickaxe but that's another 10 grand I don't really want to afford that right now <sighs> need the money have you ever been to Ottawa if not you should see all the museums taxpayers money I've, I have never been to Ottawa. I've stopped in Toronto a couple of times. I've never, like, just, like, f flying over, like, you know, on flights and stuff. But I've never actually, I've never been to Ottawa. Or even seen Toronto. Like, I've just, you know, dropped in and left kind of thing. What am I going to do with these? So the cauliflower should be going in this chest. But there's no room in that chest. So I guess I'll put it here for now. I don't know, let's just go to bed. I want to see how much money I made. Toronto's not a good Toronto's not a good place. Level five farming. I think I want tiller, right? Tiller leads to artisan? It must. I'm gonna double check. I don't want to screw this up. Farming. Tiller does lead to artisan. Tiller. Nice. Level nine fishing. Got that sea foam pudding recipe. Excellent. Concrete jungle. Let's go when I was a kid. Woo! Mercy. Seven grand in fish. Four grand in catfish. Nice. I probably have 25 grand cash right now. I probably have 25 in cash, I would think. 26. Tomorrow's going to be sunny. Worst luck. Yike. Oh, we got our first pine tar. Sweet, let me grab that. That's going in the museum. Uh, let me make sure, I don't know where I put the, uh, I know I have a, oh, a tapper on the maple tree, there it is, okay. All right. I probably need to ship one too, but whatever. So I need to grab my watering can. Yeah, let's do some watering. I'm gonna move some of this stuff out of the way. Alright, so what I think I should do is just anything that I want to. Because I really want to splash out when summer hits. I really want to splash out and get some crops going. Hopefully, if I can come up with enough money, I can. Uh, Up with enough money, I can at least get one batch of star fruit going. I also don't know how many crops I even need. Um, whoops, that was dangerous. <laughs> they, they got the plant I want to try and keep. I wonder if I should sell some. I might just sell some stuff to Pierre directly. I hate to do it, but. I don't think I want to wait for, uh, I don't think I want to wait to run everything through the preserve jars. Like, I want the money now. So unless I need it for something, so everything in there is stuff I need. I still need a green bean. Still need a morale. Oh, I should check to see if there's a morale. Let me open up today's screenshot here. I happen to have that open. Uh, I don't see one there. Toronto Zoo example. What well, were once institutions of learning and now institutions of elite having fees? Yeah, well, welcome to capitalism. Uh, do you see any morale anywhere? No. Okay, well, fingers crossed. Okay, so we've got some blue jazz. How many blue jazz do I need, and why do I have so many? <laughs> Spring. Blue jazz. How many blue jazz? I need two blue jazz. And I have 
two in that chest. Why do I have two others? I don't know. Let me double check. Make sure I'm not missing anything here. Blue Jazz. So I need to ship one. One for lucky lunch. What? I need to ship one. One for lucky lunch. And that's it. So I ha you're telling me I haven't shipped a Blue Jazz yet? I have not. Okay, let's put a blue jazz in the bin. I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna ship the cheaper one because I want to sell the more expensive one to Pierre directly to get the money. All right, all that jazz. I'm gonna check out another stream. I may, I may return. Have a good night if I don't take care. All right, D Art Wolf. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for hanging out. Have a great night. Okay, so I want to sell a bunch of stuff to Pierre. I need to water everything. I really don't want to water everything, but. I should also take a screenshot and see um, I should see exactly how many crops I how many things anything parts I need to buy. I really hope these uh, these spring seeds finish in time. <laughs> I've got two days. And I really hope I get another green bean. <laughs> hope I did the math right on that. Because if I didn't, then, like I say, it's going to be... Now the question is, will I need to water these crops once I've put the seeds in the ground? I don't know. Alright, let me just grab a screenshot here. All right, so how many parsnips do I need to buy? So 8, 16, 23. Um, looks like 6 there, so that's 29. And 8 is 37. Uh, that looks like 40, 42, 48. Um, 48 and 8 is 56. 57, 58, 59, 60. So according to my math, it should be 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 31, and 6 is 37, and 7 is 44. And 16 is 60. All right. So in theory, it should be 60. Hopefully that's right. Because um, if it's not right, then... Whoops. Damn, really. Okay, so uh, what do we have going on for the plan? The plan is traveling cart. Did I, check for, did I check my screenshot for morels? I think I did. I'm not seeing any new forageables. Although, if I'm, if I'm going to the... Not although. Also, if I'm going to the community center, I may as well check the fruit cave. I should see if there's anything interesting in the fruit cave. Oh, I just really want a morel. My fear is that there's one spawned in behind a tree somewhere that I'm just not seeing. That's a concern. Okay, so we're, let's hit the traveling cart right away before I forget it. And then we're going to swing by Pierre's. And then we're going to go to the museum. And then we're going to go to build a silo. So the other thing I need to do... I wonder if I should skip the museum. Because my inventory is so full. And I definitely want to take a lot of this stuff to sell to Pierre. Like as much as possible. Um, like the strawberries. That's That's a lot of money right there. Although, realistically, I could do that anytime. I could I could ship it. 
Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take the strawberries with me. <clears throat> I'd love to shift them and turn them into jelly or whatever, but it was just gonna take way too long. Uh, the potatoes I'm gonna hang on to, I think. The kale, I'll sell all the high quality kale. I mean, maybe I can keep the low quality stuff. No, I don't know. I'm not sure how much I need to sell. <sighs> I'm gonna sell the cauliflower. We'll sell the strawberries, I need the money. Uh, we'll sell the kale. That's gonna be good for money. Um, sell the blue jazz. That stuff needs to go up to the mines. That can stay here. That stuff I want to come with me. I could l maybe leave the dandelions. Cause I'm not going to be doing anything that needs food right now. I can leave that stuff behind. I can even leave the fishing rod behind. And then take more stuff to sell. So I could take the parsnips to sell. Or I could take... Them. Maybe I'll keep like one in case there's like a quest or something. There shouldn't be, but just in case. Um, I could sell the diamond. Oh, I could donate a diamond. Go to the museum, let's do it. And an amethyst. So this is looking pretty good, I would think. So I'm going to sell pretty much everything, try and make a bit of money, but first, I need to go to the traveling cart. So before I go to the traveling cart, here's what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this coal behind. Uh, let me just see what's at the traveling cart. I know I need to go to the traveling cart today, um, but I don't know if all I'm buying is the red cabbage seed or if there's something else I'm buying. So let's have a look here and see. Traveling cart, Friday, spring 26th. So I need a red cabbage seeds, blue jazz, tuna, fertilizer, coconut, coconut, cave carrot, sea cucumber, sandfish, green tea, brick floor. I don't think I, no, I'm not going to pay for a coconut. So I just, I do just need the one thing. I do just need the, uh, so I will keep the coal with me and take to the mines because I'm going to be able to go up to see Jody anyways. Oh, which means I need clay. So I will leave the coal behind. What else do I need for a silo? Like clay and stone, right? Um, I think it's just clay, stone, and money. 100 stone. Oh, five copper bars. Ooh. Hmm. How am I going to do this? Um, maybe I just swing back here on the way to town. Go by the red cabbage seed, come back this way. I was going to go down past um, Leah's house to get into town. I mean, I could just leave that behind and then call it good. Because when I'm done that, I'm going to the museum. Crap, okay, hold on. I might need to re rethink this here. Maybe what I should do, I should do a run to Pierre's first. It's going to be a lot of backtracking, but I should do a run to Pierre's first, buy the seeds, buy the apple tree, get all that situated, and then do everything else. Traveling cart, museum, silo, as long as I get to Jody's before 5 p.m., which I should be able to. So let's maybe do that, because my inventory space is an issue. So the hope, ooh, forageables. Uh, do I would I rather sell a daffodil? Or would I rather sell a dandelion? So daffodil is third thirty gold. Oops. Dandelion. Dandelion's forty gold. Dandelion it is. So according to my calculations, I need to buy sixty parsnips and an apple tree. Um, are the 60 parsnips going to be worth it? Is it going to be worth the money to do that? <laughs> Whew, 32 grand. So 
here's a question. Because 60 parsnips is like 1,200 gold. Do I want to spend 1,200 gold on parsnips to save me a bit of hoeing the first day of summer? I don't think I do. I really don't think I do. 1,200 gold is a lot of gold. I do want to buy an apple tree. It's a recipe for grass jar, I'm not buying that. Uh, I do want to buy an apple sapling, as much as it pains me. Um, that leaves me 28,000. I'm wondering if I can do the crystallarium right now. That's, that'll leave me 3,400 to buy summer seeds. Let's have a look at this here. I need, I need to know, because I really want to do the crystallarium as soon as possible, but I don't want to screw this up. So, how are we doing this? Did I bring, you know what, maybe I'll go visit Clint and do the museum right now, and then I can take the minecart back to the bus stop and go home that way. Okay, so I'm not going to buy parsnip seeds as much as I, as much as I don't want to do the hoeing. I'd rather have the money than the energy, first day of spring. Um, I'm not gonna have the seeds that morning anyway, so whatever. So the question is, for summer crops, let's flip over to the summer plan. We're almost at summer already, how crazy is that? So, summer spangles, sunflowers, wheat, blueberries, corn. That says hope, that should say hops. Hot peppers, tomatoes, melons, poppies, radishes. Yike. That's a lot of crops. I'm not going to be able to buy star fruit right away anyways. But I might be able to get... Okay, so let's, let's, let's have a look at this here. Summer Spangle. Spangle seeds. So I think I need two Spangle seeds. One for a recipe and one for a Spangle flower. Uh, which I need to ship. Do I just need the one to ship? Apparently. Yeah. Uh, or no, hold on. That seeds. Yeah. Just need the one to ship. So I need two spangle seeds. That's going to cost me. Let's grab a calculator here. Star Wars New Hops. <laughs> so it's going to be 100 for spangle seeds. I need two sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds, one for a sunflower, one for whatever. Uh, anyway, I need two. Uh, so that's 200 a piece at the general store. Ooh, but I could buy them. No, I think you have to buy a Georgia Mart membership before you can buy a Georgia Mart, don't you? I think you do. Um, which destroys the community center, which I don't want. Oh, no, I... Apparently, I can just buy them. Oh, apparently, I can just buy stuff at Georgia Mart. Okay, well, let's let's buy it from Georgia Mart. Let's save the, let's save the money. So it's going to save me 150 right there. So it's going to be another 250. Oops. 250 for sunflower seeds. Um. I need 13 wheat. I think that's like 10 each or something like that. Wheat seeds, I think are 10 a piece, yeah. So that's 300 wheat. Uh, four blue, now I need four blueberries, but blueberries, if I plant them on the first day or within the first three days, I'm gonna get four blueberry berries. <laughs> so, I only need one blueberry plant. However, without having sun, uh, star fruit, blueberries are kind of going to be my go-to. So what I'm going to say, I'll look at how much I need and then we'll go from there. So blueberry seeds cost 80 a piece. So I'm going to say I need one. Um, five corn, but again, corn regrows and it grows through fall. So if I, here we go. If planted on summer one, 
or if I plant within the first two days of summer, I'm going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven corn from one plant. So I only need one corn plant. And like I say, hopefully I don't get crowed. But we're looking at what I need. I can buy extras as we go. So corn seeds cost, I think, quite 150. Uh, hops. I need three hops, but again, it grows like every day, so I only need one hop stock. One hop scotch. Hop starter. Uh, and that costs 60. I might just pull this off. Seven hot peppers. Spelt peppers wrong. Pepper seeds. Pepper seeds is 40. And it yields hot peppers, which will give me, if I plant on the foot in the first two days, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is more than enough. So I need 40 or just enough. Did I say 40? Is that what I said? I've said it a couple of times, but now I'm second guessing myself. Yes, it is 40. Okay. Uh, tomato. Tomato also regrows. But how many tomato plants do I need? One, two, three, four, five. So I might actually need three tomato plants because I need 11 tomatoes in total, and one plant's only going to give me five. So I need three tomato seeds, which is 150. Uh, six melons. So that's a melon seed, and that is 80. So I'm just going to, yeah, I'm, I'm going to need six regardless, so that's 240. 420. <laughs> Is that right? 8 times 6 is 42, right? Yeah. That's 1,500. Three poppies and four radishes. Now, is can I get radish in year one, or is that a year two thing? Nope, I can get it in year one. Okay. So how many radish do I need? I need four radishes. That's 160. And I need... Three poppies. But I need two. How many poppy seeds do I need? I need three poppies, but so I need to get four poppy seeds. So that's four times. Ooh, that's 400. Yeah, okay. Whoops. So that's. I need 2100. I need 2100 gold for crops. Need. But if I. 25,000, I have enough. I can get the Crystallarium and have enough for all the seeds that I need. And I mean, if I, um, yeah, if I, uh, I mean, just sell a little bit of whatever. I might be able to pull this off. <laughs> okay, geodes. Uh, I'm just going to have a look and see what I want. If there's anything fancy I want to do with geodes. So I've got one, what is it? Six normal, one fire, or magma. Uh, so whatever I do next is going to be copper ore. Jamborite, dolomite, star shards. I don't have a star shard. Iron ore. Is there anything else that I really want? Because how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, set dwarf gadget. Maybe I should do that. So basically break the um, the regular geodes until I get... And I'll give me some copper ore. It's going to be 20 copper ore too, actually. That's super useful. So break it till I get granite. Once I've got granite, do the magma. All right. <laughs> That's not granite. That's mudstone. That's copper ore. That looks like granite to me. Dwarf computer. Beautiful. That should be all the dwarf computers I need. That should be it. I'm tempted to just sell the diamond, though. I don't know that I want to give the diamond to the museum just yet. I think I'd rather have the cash. 
at 750, and I'm going to get more diamonds. Let's just sell it. Let's just do it. Sweet. Okay, so we got a bunch of stuff for the museum. Donate. It's 11 a.m., so we're making decent time as well. Move this over here. I'm going to try and fill up this, uh, or start doing this bottom section here. Because it's going to be a bit of a pain to get to. There we go. Lovely. What are my rewards? Nine pumpkin seeds. Nice. I'll take those home with me. Oh, I probably shouldn't, though. It's a little short on space at home. Alright, well, whatever. Too late. I already grabbed it. What up, Jazz? Did I check this garbage can already? Alright, let me just go and sell the rest of this stuff to Clint. Sell, sell. Okay, let's maybe go see Robin right now. Mines. And let's, I'm just going to throw in this copper ore, I think. I should attempt to make another furnace with it, but I'd rather have the bars right now, I think. Don't have any coal on me. And I need 100 stone. Oh, no. Forgot about that. I need 100 stone. Crap. Okay, let's go home then. Um, we'll grab whatever I, ha whatever I have for stone. And... Uh, I wonder if I should swing by the community center as well. Um, I don't know. So then I can get the crystallarium today. Get a diamond in there. I need to keep a diamond, right? Okay, good. Thank God. Um. All right, so let's drop. Where can I drop the seeds? Oh, they'd be here. Did I put the? Uh, I didn't. Um, I guess I sold it. Fair enough. Okay, uh, so I need to stone. So let me grab my pickaxe. Let me grab. Oh, I've caught stone. I got stone right here. Okay, 100 stone, 10 thingies, 5 copper bars. Perfect. Okay. Take the coal, take that ore. Uh, what else do I want to take with me here? Maybe... I'm going to grab some torches. And I'm going to find a place to plant the apple trees. So let me just clear some space here. Where am I going to clear a spot for an apple tree? Maybe like right here? Maybe I'll put it right where this tree is growing. If it'll let me anyways, hopefully it will. Seems like a decent spot for it. I'll put it like... Maybe... Here? Hopefully. Hopefully that's how it works. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put torches on either side of it. Like all around. Because if I don't, I'm going to completely forget that that's my apple tree and I'm going to chop it down. Okay. So let's go get the silo made. Um, and let's go, um, I'm just gonna quickly check in here, see if there's anything I want. There is a blackberry. I can't remember, I was thinking that I wanted a blackberry for something. I can't remember what that something is. So I'm pretty sure I've put a blackberry in the community center already. That's gonna be like a foraging, like a fall forage. Yeah. Forget what, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly the problem. Did I pet the dog? I should have pet the dog while I was there. Oh, well. So I'll go get the silo. Crap, I need to clear a spot for a silo. Do I have a spot cleared for a silo? Let me check my screenshots. Not a great spot. Oh, maybe. Maybe I do have a spot cleared for a silo. I can always move it afterwards, too. I can, I can just... Uh... Ah, go. Go. Ah, there we go. I can always move it later. just want to get it built. Oh, for a little for it. what little artifact spawn. More clay, nice. Let's 
easy money, that is. Alright, is Robin even home on Fridays? Maybe she's not even here on Friday. Okay, good. What up, Robin? I want you to make me a silo. I want you to put it... Oh, it's three by three. Oh, I can put it over here. Oh, <gasps> can I really? Uh, yeah. Oh, but forage though, but who cares? Like, honestly, it's, it's out of the way. That's what I really want. So unless I'm gonna put it like here. Oh, it doesn't quite fit there. Put it up here. Uh, I, should, I should probably, yeah, I should put it like down here somewhere. Cause I'm thinking, what am I gonna use down here for? Nothing. That's where it can go. All right, thanks, Robin. Okay, uh, so that's done. Let me check my list of things to do here. Uh, where is it? There it is. So, um, traveling cart. We did the apple tree. We're not doing parsnips. We did the museum. We built a silo. So I got to hit the traveling cart, and then um, what's the fastest way to the traveling cart from here? I don't know, probably just back the way I came, I guess. So we've got to get that red cabbage seed from the traveling cart. And then we're done everything we need to do today. So I guess at that point, I'll just go mining. Try and get what I can get in the mines. What up, dog? Blackberry. Why did I want a, why do I want a blackberry? I can't remember. Is there space in here for it? Sweet. I'm going to keep it. Let me have a look. So blackberries, you need one, two for a blackberry cobbler, one for wild seeds, one for the museum, and one to ship. Have I shipped a blackberry? I have not shipped a blackberry. So I could just ship it. I don't get that recipe until year two. No, I get this recipe. I'm not going to be able to do this until fall. Because I need a hazelnut for that. So even if I hit level six foraging, I'm not going to be able to do this. And I'll be able to forge it, forge a blackberry in the fall anyways. So I may as well just ship one. Yeah. And there might be one. Oh, yeah. And, and if there's a quest, it'll be in the fall. So I'm just going to ship this one. Where I put it? <laughs> Left it in the chest. Whoops. All right, done. Okay, let's go to the traveling cart. Now I've got my scythe with me, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, if I see any um, weeds, I'll try to uh, scythe them. Maybe get some mixed seeds, you never know. I guess I could, let me just take a screenshot of this area and see if there's anything worth foraging here. Don't know if there's any spring onions at this time of year. Oh, so it looks like there's some. So there are a bunch of spring onions actually, and a horseradish. And there's some spring onions down here by the back door of the sewer and a dandelion. Uh, so yeah, I think we're just gonna do the circuit. There's another horseradish there. I think we're just gonna do the circuit. We'll go to the traveling cart. I'll scythe my way down through here. Not too many weeds there anyways, but... Um, and yeah, I'll grab stuff as we go. And, you know, it'll be good for fiber as well, even if I don't get any mixed seeds. Doing the scything will be good for fiber. So, give me that red, that beautiful red cabbage seed. Alright. Nothing else that I want, I'm sure. Nothing else I want. Tenth just to buy the coconuts, but I mean, co coconuts are going to be so easy to come by once I get access to the desert. Alright, that is a huge load off my mind now, because that means that we can for sure get the community center done. I mean, I knew that we could, because we set up the, the, uh, we set up the save to be able to do that, but 
now it's like if I forgot that I'd be screwed basically is what it comes down to so not a lot of mixed seeds though which is kind of sad or any of the seeds for that matter but we are getting some good fiber so I can't complain Kind of getting off track a little bit. I should be going back the other way, but Let's get the forge items and stuff. Trying to keep a bit of an eye out for the weeds. Here's a big batch, a couple of big batches. Okay, we got one mix seed. I guess that's good. I'll save us one. Hoeing spot and when we hit summer. I should also figure out how many spots I need. Uh, actually, that'll be easy to do. If I just look at my spreadsheet again, and I look at summer, all this is 61, which is perfect. I have more than that already. And I don't actually need this many because like, I only need three tomato plants, so that's minus eight, um, minus another two, uh, the blueberry, same thing. That's just going to be minus three. So really, yeah, I, I have, I already have enough spots hoed to get all the crops that I need to have. But I really need to get, uh, level six farming, like, super badly. Because, uh, I need to get those sprinklers going. Hmm. Because I can't keep spending my, all my days watering. Yeah, spring could have gone better. Spring could have gone better. But you know what? Live and learn. I mean, next time... I mean, what will I do different next time? Probably just focus on... Um... Oh, got another mixed seed. Focus on crops. I was kind of doing a bit of everything. Maybe also maybe spread stuff out over the two years. So instead of trying to do everything in the first year... Um... Let, let, you know pick some stuff, like the legend fish, right? Where I kind of said, okay, the legend fish is going to happen in year two. It's not going to happen in year one. So things like that. Where I pick certain things and I say, yeah, this, whatever this is, this is go not going to happen in year one. I'm going to save it for year two. And that's all there is to it. Whoops, I just wasted some fertilizer there. I'm sorry. Okay, so. Wood. Um, refined quartz. Clay. Wait. How much clay do I need now? Where's the clay? I know I looked at it earlier, didn't I? Pretty sure I did. Did I not? Oh, it must have been on a different tab. Whoops, okay. Uh, let's go clay. So I've built the silo. So I need three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I have five. That's good. So I only need nine clay. I'm actually going to write update. I'm going to write this down over here in the crafting clay. It looks like nine. Okay, good. Okay. Um, the fiber can hang out there as well. Might sell some of these dandelions now that I have some uh, spring onions for food. I should probably sell some of these horseradishes too, actually. Maybe I'll sell the gold star horseradish. Can keep the leaks for George. Sell those fancy dandelions. Leave that seed there. Uh, okay, so I think I'm probably pretty good for stuff. I think. How many cave carrots do I need, and why do I have seven? That seems like a lot. Cave carrots. How many cave carrots do I need? I need one for a bundle, which is done. I've shipped one, so I only need two, three, four, five. Six, one, one for a quest. Seven for Marnie's quest. Okay, great. 
All right, so let's sell this stuff. It's already 720, so not a whole lot I can do now. But maybe we can drop the pine tar off in the community center and go get a crystallarium. That would be good to do. Drop the pine tar off. We'll buy the bundle to get, us, get ourselves a crystallarium. And then, yeah, then at least I'll get diamonds once a week, which is better than nothing. Um, actually, you know what? Maybe I'll do all these weeds while I'm here. Because it is free fiber, if nothing more. So let's bang out. Oh, this rock isn't even in the way anymore. There we go. Got a few mixed seeds. Is nice. All right, so I think the pine tar is in the craft room. Let's take a guess. I have no idea. I want to say it's exotic foraging. Nice. Oh, we got that one done. Sweet. What do we get? Five autumn's bounty. That's useful. That'll be good for food. Okay. Um, sweet. And let's swing by the vault and splash out on a $25,000 crystallarium. That is never gonna pay for itself. <laughs> I mean, it will, it will sort of in the grand scheme of things, but like I was thinking 25,000 for a crystallarium, that's not gonna pay for itself. That would take, how long would that even take? 10, 20, well, longer than a two-year challenge is how long that would take. I, that, I would not make that money back over the course of a two-year challenge. So, fortunately, access to the desert will will help. So I'm going to keep this three grand for... Uh, oh, I've got jelly, too. That can go to the community center. I'm going to keep this three grand for... Whatchamacallit? Uh, I'm just going to put the crystallarium inside the house because... Why not? Uh, I'm just going to leave the jelly in here, I think. I will also plant my mixed seeds. Um, just to save me some pain later. Uh, leave that there. We actually almost have all the fiber we need, too. Except what do we need? Wasn't it like 300 and something fiber? What do I have here? 374, and I have 320, so I'm actually doing really well for fiber. Um... Okay, so I should probably make another tapper, I think. Or even, like, make two. But do I even have oak trees around? Let me just see what I have for oak trees here. So I've got one tapped over there. That's fine. We got some down here, I guess. Oh, those, those, those are maple. Is this an oak tree? This is an oak tree. And then maybe I just... Uh, wait, this one here is an oak tree as well, actually. Is this an oak tree too? It is. Okay. Maybe I'll just to cut down these trees so they're out of my way. Not my energy as well. Alright. Really, really can't wait till I have a glow ring. That's going to be super useful. Okay. So we got a little bit of the wood back. And we got a couple more tappers going, which is good. I need to really need to get, get some oak resin going. Lots of sap. This autumn's bounty. I'm not sure what to do with that. Forging and defense. I mean, maybe I could stick it down in the mines or something, but it's 11 p.m. What should I do right now? Um, I should head to the mine and get some of the stuff smelting, I guess. Probably do that. 
tomorrow is Saturday the 27th. What am I doing on the 27th? I don't know. Maybe I'll just quickly go pop down into the mine and see if I can find a bit of copper while I wait for this copper to smelt. I feel like I could fish them all too. I need to do some mine fishing. Can you carrot? Nice. Grab this bug meat. I mean, ultimately, I do need to kill all these baddies, so. Well, I forgot it's worse luck today, isn't it? Yeah, I forgot it's worse luck. I should probably get back to the house, anyways. Alright. Is there anything I want to leave behind? Uh, I will leave the autumn's bounty behind, actually. I'm gonna take the bug meat. So I'm gonna want to use some. I don't need. I can probably convert it all to bait now, actually, because I, I don't. I was gonna save it for bug steaks, but I've got a decent amount of food now. So maybe I will just. Uh, maybe we'll hang on to it for bait. Okay. Well, this day. I mean, it was productive. It wasn't usually, pro usually profitable, but it was productive. Uh, now for cave carrots. I know I've shipped one. What did I need for cave carrots? It was seven, right? Is that what it was? Oh, I've got it right here. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need eight and total hold on so we one for a bundle two three four five six includes recipes seven eight eight you want shipping bundle is two three four five six seven eight so nine in total but i've already shipped one and i've already put one of the community centers so i need seven let me make sure i've got seven i do so we're good for cave carrots let me drop the slime off, wherever the slime goes. Drop the fiber off. At some point I need to look at house upgrades too, because I'm gonna be, I need to start cooking recipes and stuff. So this cave carrot, I could keep it for food or whatever. Drop a geode in there. Stone. I'm gonna keep the coal on me. Don't know why I brought the sword back with me, that was a waste. Everything else is probably fine. All right. So, how much should we make in the end? 300? Nice. That's okay, you know what? We have enough, that's all that matters. Alright, so, 27th day of spring. Your apple tree wasn't able to grow last night. Crap. Mildly bad luck day. Why wasn't my apple tree? Does it need more, might need more space than this? Does it really need more space than that? Oh, I see. I put the torches too close. Dang it, because there it can go. I'll put it up there, maybe. See if that works. I gotta figure it out by tomorrow, so. Okay, we got our forge items back. Excellent. Um, let's pick them up. This is going to help with our forage rating as well. There we go, lovely. That's all that done. I mean, I think we have all the forageables, so all this is just, like, an easy sell, I think. Except for morels. Do I have a morel on the farm? Let me check my daily screenshots. I only have two days left, or i got to wait till next year. Uh, I see... I see a horseradish there. Nothing there. Uh, anything by the stumps? No. I should actually go get those stumps. I need the hardwood. Nothing there. Robin's building the silo. No morale. How sad. So, do I have anything that I need to get done today? 
don't think so. I don't have anything on my list, actually. I just gotta try and finish spring here. So, uh, let's, uh... I'm gonna sell this stuff, I think. I'm just gonna make sure that I don't have anything in here that I can replace. Horseradishes or regular quality leeks. Four leeks regular quality. Um, maybe I'll keep these leeks for George, actually. I should probably do that. The horseradishes I'll sell. I got, I got time with Krovis, so I'm not too worried about that. Let's grab another piece of trash to throw in the recycler. I'm going to convert all my uh, bait into, or all my bug meat into bait. There we go. And we're going to sell all of these forageables. Don't need any of them. Sweet. Check my ratings here. Foraging, still level 4, we've hit level 5, mining level 5, farming, level 9, fishing, level 4, combat. We're not doing too bad, actually. Uh, okay, so I guess I'm just going to hit the mines today. Like, I'll still water all the crops and stuff, but... Not that there's that much to water, which is actually kind of nice. Just in case something finishes before... <laughs> Hopefully I'll get another batch of strawberries or something if I'm lucky. I don't think I will, though. I'm pretty sure I won't, but... Uh, okay. So that's all good. So I guess I could probably just go to the mine, I would say, I would think. I'll take the fiberglass rod with me. Yeah, let's just go mining. Try and get as much copper as we can. Why are you running away when I'm trying to pet you? There we go. And I will just poke my head into the fruit cave again. Spice berry and a plum. I feel like I can use those. There's a plum for fall foraging. I have a spice berry already. Sweet. Do I need a spice berry for anything else, I wonder? Uh, let's give it a quick look here. Just a wild seeds recipe, so I do need one. Have I shipped a spice berry? Probably not. No, I clearly have not shipped a spice berry. All right, let's 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 ship this one then. I'll just quickly drop another piece of broken glass into there. We will send the spice berry. Put the spice berry in the bin. Whoops, I should have left the. Uh, refined quartz in there. I've got seven refined quartz, which is awesome. When I get the recipe for uh, for sprinklers, I wonder if I should... Like, when I get the recipe for sprinklers, I'll be able to make a bunch of them, which is great, but I wonder if I should focus on getting iron right now. Because I'm going to need a lot of sprinklers, and I'm going to need the sprinklers before I need... I'm going to need the sprinklers before I need the kegs. Whoops, I meant to put that in the community center. I'll try to remember to do that later on the way home or something. So I wonder if I should just focus on iron. That might be a better idea. Oops. Ah! Of course, it is worse luck. So... See how the day goes, I guess. We got a ladder there, which is awesome. I'll save my energy here. So hopefully I can get some uh, get some iron. I mean, the other good thing too is, I mean, I'll be killing dust sprites. So um, forgot I had a ladder already. So. Uh, That'll get me closer to a burglar ring, which will get me more coal, which is good. Anything at all? Anything? Anything at all? No? Nothing? Okay. Fine. Frozen Geo. Nice. I can't remember if you, if you can get stairs underneath those crystals. I can't remember if that's a thing.
There we go. I was like, wow, this bad luck day is really showing through here. Got the quartz. I definitely, I absolutely want the... Oh, nice! We're finding quartz right from all those crystals. I'm gonna grab these guys. Get what coal I can. See if I get lucky, see if they'll give me... A ladder. No. Okay. Nice. I'm just gonna grab this iron. Oh, it's like, it's 11.30? No, 11.30 a.m. We're good. I mean, knock on wood, but for being a bad luck day, this is actually, uh... Going pretty well. Got 22 iron. Oh gosh, there's an open ladder again. Sweet. And another one. Got some iron, got some copper, got a topaz. Not really worth a lot, but whatever. Worth the one hit it took to break it. Have to eat something pretty soon. That's okay. Up to 35 iron. I should probably just go back up and put some iron in the in the furnace. on how many because I think you use them for lightning rods so well I guess we're getting some bad wings let them bundle all of them I got lots of health I'm gonna let them uh if they're going to anyways. Let them group up, group up, group up a little bit. And there's water. Sweet deal. Now I can chase after them, still have lots of health. Anything else I want on this level? Let me just take a quick screenshot here. Um. Ooh, yeah, some dust sprites. Let's go and kill them for the coal. Hopefully I get a little bit. Oh, there we go, there's a couple. Might as well kill that slime. There we go. Alright, we got uh, 48. It's not bad, it's 10. I guess it's worth 10 sprinklers. The good news is when I get the sprinklers, I'll be like, No, I'm not gonna have kegs. Um, wow, well, there's a lot of iron there. Uh, no, I'm not gonna have kegs, but at least I'll be able to get lots of crops, so, we're gonna f so I can kind of just bide my time until I get the kegs. But being able to have lots of crops means I'll, my, my farming level will increase for soon faster. So, uh, what am I eating here? Let's go with the green algae. So yeah, once the sprinklers are gonna be exactly what I need. It's 4, 10 p.m., so we're doing good. As long as I can keep my energy up, I'm a little bit worried about the energy situation. I wonder if I should just do some, uh, some mine fishing or something. Ooh, actually, I should take these cookies. Yeah, why not? 
leaving some stuff behind that I don't need to have with me. Um, sure. Okay, so that's good. Uh, yeah, let's keep going for let's keep going for for iron here. I should have eaten something. Amethyst. And a ladder. I'm not seeing a lot going on here. Let's go to the next level. There's a ladder. Is there coal at the end of that? I think no, there well, we've got all the coal already. Okay, shouldn't have gone to the end. That's okay. those guys. Three frozen tears. Wow. I'll take that. There we go. Got ourselves some solar. I should start getting the wizard, maybe? I wonder if I should do that. It's kind of a pain because he's so far out of the way, but... I don't know. But actually, the wizard, I'm not too worried about in terms of gifting because really um let's eat these cookies here i'm gonna end up with so much solar essence and void essence it's like i'll be able to give him loved gifts once i start gifting is gifting him i'll be able to give him loved gifts well this level sucks uh, all right let's leave Oh, nice crit. I mean, I am going to have to really start thinking about what I'm going to be doing for gifts. And maybe I should start gifting the wizard so I can get that over with? I don't know. Like I say, it's such a long way to go. But it's only twice a week. Ooh, nice. Well, we've got a decent amount of iron here. If I didn't have to do that, I probably could have gone around that rock, but I won't. Can I see if I can find a ladder while I'm at it? I'm run around here. Okay, well, I burned through most of those cookies I ate, uh, just doing that. Which is rather unfortunate. Uh, okay, let's eat that. Oops. I mean, I can't be mad at this, though. Honestly, I've got a decent amount of iron. I should probably start doing gold runs next, I guess. I uh, need some gold. And there's my diamond. There we go. Kill these bats here. There we go. 9 p.m. All right. So we need to start wrapping up here. Start thinking about how I'm going to end this day. Oh, honestly, I mean, this is a bad luck day, yike. This was pretty good luck for a bad luck day. Got a decent amount of iron. <gasps> crystal, crystal fruit! And a dwarf scroll! <laughs> nice! We got a dwarf scroll that we need, and we got a crystal fruit that can go in the museum. Wow. This is a bad luck day. Give me more of that. Eat a couple of these. I'm not going to eat too much more. I'll just have a quick look over here. There's some coal for me. 
mean, this was a pretty... And a winter route that I could also use for the community center. Although technically I could save the winter route and put it in a seed maker and get... That's only going to give me winter seeds, though. Which... Think about that. Okay, I don't care about this ghost. I'm just gonna leave. All right. So, well, well, I mean, that was a pretty sweet, uh, a pretty sweet bad luck day. So let's leave the bombs, and that will give me the inventory I need to be able to do that. All right. What am I taking home with me here? What am I leaving behind? I guess I should ask. So we'll leave some stone. Um. We're going to take the geodes. We're going to leave... I'm going to keep these spring onions with me for... food, I guess. Uh, I think I'm going to walk down to the community center on the way home. I think I'm going to do that. Uh, what can I leave here? The quartz can stay here. The bat wings I'll take. Uh, may as well take the sap with me if I can fit it. The bat can stay here. That can all come with me. Um, anything else I want to take with me? The Jade. Topaz. What's up, Hippo Carnage? How you doing? Bars. Slime. Plum. No room for the plum. Really want the plum, though. Let's leave the Topaz. Take the plum. All right, we're going to swing by the community center. And then we'll be good. Let's go for a walk. All right. Well, that was that was that was the probably the best worst luck day I've ever had. That was pretty sweet. So, where are we dropping off the plum? I'm pretty sure I need a frozen tear, don't I? Or did I do that already? Hold on, let me have a look. What am I doing? Um Oh, so I've got some got some forge. I had a question regarding music production. Ask away. So winter foraging. I've got a winter root and a crystal fruit. What the heck? Let's dump them in there. Um, that's actually going to be a huge help. Well, is that? Oh, and a plum. Plum is a fall forage. Yes. Okay. So I'm just going to the craft room. It looks like. Are you familiar with VeriSpeed in Logic Pro? No, I'm not. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. I don't use Logic, I use Cakewalk, so I'm not at all familiar with Logic. Just make sure I don't need a... Whatchamacallit for there. Ooh, I need 10 wheat for the community center. And 10 hay as well, but the hay will be easy to get. Alright, so winter foraging. Winter root, crystal fruit. Nice. It's so good. And a plum. Also nice. Also so very good. Alright, let's head home. I was going to ask you how you'd go about automating the speed... Automating the speed of a song. Uh, yeah, no idea how to do it in Logic. Like I said, in Cakewalk it's pretty easy. I, you have like a... Um, I can just draw it in or whatever. Like If I want to ramp up the speed or ramp down the speed or whatever. There's a view that I have that I can either do it like if I if I know, if I want the speed to jump, so I'll, all of a sudden at this measure now where we, I want to be this speed, um, then uh, yeah I can do that. Um, I can just type it in and punch it in. But otherwise, um, I I have a, a view where I can just draw it basically. It's just a grid view where I can draw whatever speed ramping I want. Okay, I gotta be. I got. I must be able to sell these frozen tears. I don't think I need that many frozen tears. All right. Well, let's figure out what we're doing next time here. So, we're gonna go to the museum. Take a dwarf scroll. Take a diamond. Um, amethyst. That's worth keeping too. I'm going to keep the jades because I'm going to need those for um, staircases later on. 
Um, let me check what we need Frozen Tears for. Frozen Tear, what do we need? One for a bundle, that's done. Ten for a warrior ring. Wow. And there can be quests. All right. Keeping all the frozen tears then. Uh, we got some slime. Okay, I'm going to take a... Uh... What are we looking for here? I'm going to throw in a strawberry and a kale, I think. Into the preserve jars. Yeah. Although I think I was keeping those for quests, wasn't I? Should probably hang on to those, I guess. The shame, but uh, what do you do? Got a strawberry jelly. Did I put a jelly in the community center? I did not. Okay, so we're going to do that. So let me start writing this down here. So, uh, this is going to be day 28. Wow. We're almost to summer. Spring 28. So we're going to go museum. We're going to go community center. CC for the jelly. Museum for whatever. Whatever I have on me. Um, and I'm just going to keep uh, keep on keeping on for um, for iron and stuff. This is complex. Yeah, I'm kind of, well, I'm trying to do this challenge. Like, I'm trying to complete perfection within two years. So it's kind of a, it's a bit of a thing. Um... So that's what I'm doing next time. So yeah, we'll hit the museum, we'll hit the community center, and I guess I'm just going to keep mining for iron slash gold uh, so I can make lots of sprinklers eventually when I hit level 6 farming, which is however long that's going to take. Hopefully not long, but probably a bit. Um... And once I have enough, once I have lots of iron and gold, then, um, because how, what are we talking right now? I got 13, 24, and 9. That's quite a bit. But I'm still going to need lots of iron for kegs and stuff later. And I'm going to need copper for more tappers. You know what I really need? I need the, um... The train station to open up so I can go start a tree farm up there. That's what I really need to happen. Oh well, next time. Uh, okay, so that is the plan for next time. Museum, community center, and then mining like a madman. And then for the 28th day of, of spring, and then summer one... Summer stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's just summer things. We start all over again with the summer one plan. That's the plan for next time.